in the book of second Corinthians, <clears throat> in chapter 5 verse 17 is written therefore if any man be in christ is a new creature read this read therefore therefore if any man be in christ is a new creature what does it mean exactly what is written no more no less question are you in christ how do I get in Christ? So simple. You want to know how you get in Christ? Do you really want to know? Send me ties and offerings and I'll tell you. <laughs> no. And the Savior is the sinner. Christ is the Savior. Simple as that. Then, hear the word of truth. It's called the gospel of your salvation, which is how the Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. And they was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. See? That by resurrection. Believe it. Receive it. By faith. By grace through faith. Let me tell you, what if the world is Christ now? Let's go to Jerusalem. We find him there. <laughs> He's in heaven at the right hand of the Father. Oh, yeah, fairy tales. Well, well, we walk by faith, not by sight. In faith, you know in what? In the book. I've never seen Christ with my eyes, but I believe what is written in the book. Oh, how do you know? Yeah, I know. Then you say, how do you know? And to tell you the truth, how in the world do I know this? I know because I believe that God is real. God is truth. And he's got the word of truth. Otherwise, what kind of God is that? If God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, hasn't left his pure words written in a book somewhere, how do you think I, of all people on the, on the face of the earth, can I find out his words? Do I need to have some mystical experience? Go, I don't know, somewhere on a mountain or in a uh, you know, hermit, fast and pray until practically almost dead? No. No, God, not only is real, his name is I Am. He is the source of life for everybody. He created the heaven and the earth. And he created all life. And he's left these words in the book. And that's the, the challenge. You either believe the book or you don't. I can't force you. If you don't believe what is written in this book, preserve. And if you don't believe that the King James Bible are the preserved word of God, I can't force you to anything. Neither God can do that. He will not do it. That's not in the in his uh, nature to manipulate people. Because you live in a world of manipulators, you think that God is like that. No way, Jose. Jose. God is wonderful. He's glorious. He is the truth. When Jesus came to Israel, it's written in the gospel, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Simple. I don't believe it. That's why you are in hell now. Those people that rejected him. Krang said, all I had to do is was to believe he was my Messiah. But I didn't. And I'm here. You want to be in Christ? Yes or not? God is faithful. He's truthful. And he kept his words preserved in a book for anyone to read and believe. And receive to be saved and sealed by grace by grace don't go around with your religion blah 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 you know you got to do nothing what do you mean nothing nothing god puts you in christ when you believe the gospel or the cross so at that point therefore if any man be in christ 
is a new creature. Don't go around and born again. When in the world you were born of God before? Israel was, in the book is written, Israel, God called Israel a firstborn son. He got them out of Egypt. He fought Pharaoh and the Egyptian empire of that time. Destroyed him. Destroyed ten gods of Egypt. Pharaoh and his armies, everything to save his only son at that time, which was Israel. But now we know that Christ has got his only begotten son, Christ, who came on earth. And he went to Israel, his people. They rejected, okay, but some believe. And after that, he called Paul and said, you know, Paul, come here. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Paul was persecuting the little flock, the Lord appeared, there's a bang, big. What thou Lord? I am Jesus, who thou persecuted. You can read in Acts 9, 22 or 26. Three times he tell you they appeared, and three times made of him the apostle, preacher, teacher of the Gentiles. That's why I'm reading the letters of Paul. I read all the Bible, I love it, but this is a distraction for me as a member of the new creature, the body of Christ. Therefore, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. Simple. It's yeah, simple for you. Just read and believe the words on the book, on the page. That's why, you see, I'm not a pastor, I don't want to be one, not even if you pay me. And don't pay me because I, want, I don't want your money. When it comes to God, you can buy my paintings, thank you very much, but when it comes to the Lord, so free because hey all i can say to you get the book read it believe it receive it be saved be sealed don't go around with all oh, blah 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 better than you nobody's better than anything we're all sinners to start with christ is the savior we are the sinners he saves us and when he saves you he makes of you a new creature a member of the new creature, the body of Christ, all things have passed away, because all things have become new. Do you know that God is going to create a new heavens, a new earth? He's going to. When? In his time, after the body of Christ is gone, after the great tribulation, he's going to create a new heavens, a new earth, in which righteousness will dwell forever. Bye bye, Satan, the devil, and all this horrible satanic system that we know now for now you have to get saved now don't say i'll get saved tomorrow what do you know what do you know if there is a tomorrow you better believe now and all things are of god who has reconciled us to himself by jesus christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation let me tell you or ask you one day when I grow up, I speak English. Who is the ass here? The body of Christ. That's what. Because it's Paul. Paul is the first in the pattern. He started with Paul. And the course of 2,000 years have been saving men and women who simply believe and receive this gross gospel. And he says, all things are of God. You get it? Who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ? Us is not the rest of the world. Jesus Christ is the Savior of all men, especially of those who believe. If you don't believe, don't believe, well, you will not get anything from God. Nothing. Because you can't see God, you can't touch, you can't smell, you can't... God is a spirit. And those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. How do you do that? reading his words written by the Spirit of God, recorded for you, for us. Don't make it complicated. It's very simple. God spoke. The book has been written. We have it. Believe it. Read it. Believe it. Study it. And you know. And you know. When I know, I don't know anything else. All the things I know in this system, they were satanic. Ah, oh, man, you know, what I would do for you to come to this realization but I can't do this against your will so everybody needs to be fully persuaded in his own mind his own or her mind you know 
All things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Whoever comes to God must believe that he is and is a rewarder of those who seek him diligently. Without faith it is impossible to please God. So start believing. Say, but I don't know how. Well, you, until now you are not a believer. Start to be a believer. In your heart say, okay, I'm going to believe God. I'm going to believe his words and see what happens. And he tells. And all things that our God was reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the body of Christ, the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, the God was in Christ, God was in Christ because Christ was God, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them. Okay? So God imputed all the sins of all men to Christ. That's massive, okay? And not to us at that point. And has committed unto us the body of Christ, the word of reconciliation. I'm not here to tell you, join my church, join my movement. Oh, send me the money, honey. I'm here to tell you, God wants to save you. Will you allow God to save you? <laughs> And this is, this is better. No, no, it's better. I got a word of reconciliation. I got a very good message for you. That's why it's called Evangel, Gospel, Evangel, Evangelon, the good message, the glad tidings. You are a sinner on your way to hell and the lake of fire, but God... But Christ died on the cross of Calvary not to create this Mayhem of religions and denominations, but to save souls. To save anyone, anywhere who simply believe what is done. What is holy, wonderful, glorious Christ done. How the Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. All your sins, past sins, present sins, future sins. And he was buried because he really died and he rose again the third day, the third day for our justification. Today here in Australia where I am in this, the 30 of March, uh, it's Easter I think, they say. They start with Good Friday. What Good Friday? He had to stay three days, three days and three nights. And if he was Friday, Friday, Saturday and when? It's all false, satanic, Satan is out there to confuse you. He died on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and before the sunrise, because we don't worship the S-U and the sun, but the sun, S-O-N, the Son of God, rose from the dead. So, he was crucified for our offenses, he died for our offenses, he was delivered for our sins, offenses, was risen again for our justification. And we have the ministry of reconciliation. We who? The body of Christ. Every saved and sealed member of the body has got a ministry. It's called servant. Servanthood. You know, we're servants of God. With the word of reconciliation. Not to dare say, oh, follow me. Please don't follow me. But follow Paul to follow Christ. You can't follow Jesus in the red letters. If you think you do, you are living in a la la land because Christ has a right hand of the Father. He's not in Israel now with the twelve. He's risen, praise the Lord, and ascended back to where he came from. The third heaven, above, above the, the heavens, heavens of heavens, above. Praise the Lord. The word of reconciliation. No, I'm not saying to you, God wants to smash you. You already smashed. And you're going to go to hell and the lake of fire if you don't receive what Christ has done for you. Because that's the destiny of the children of Adam without salvation, without Christ. Oh, you know, the children of Adam, corrupt as they are, mankind is all corrupt. Go and read Romans, the first three chapter, or Psalm 53 and Psalm 14, okay, King James. The condition is terrible. All a sinner can show to the glory of God. But then, praise God, he continues being 
being fr justified freely. You see? A donkey speaks better than me, but doesn't matter. I need to give you the gospel. Being justified freely through the redemption God, God buys you back, which is in Christ Jesus. He shed his blood to give you atonement, which he means he has paid, he paid completely in full the sin debt of the world and we all sinners. How in the world are you going to pay for your sins? Okay, you're in the presence of God because you're dead. Well, God, you know, I was not, not so bad after all. Jesus asked for perfection. You can't give him. After all, what? He's just a sinner, man. You, you can't even... You'd be horrified to be in the presence of the most holy God, you know? Because he's righteous and you're not. It's holy, you're not. It's, it's glorious, you're not. No, you need Christ. You believe and receive the gospel of Christ, and God declares you righteous because he imputes to you the righteousness of Christ. Holy and saint. He belongs to him now. You, you're perfect in his eyes because he puts you in Christ who is perfect. That's the operation of God. You believe what Christ done 2,000 years ago, now God puts you into Christ forever, eternally. And that's why now the body of Christ, now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ that be ye reconciled to God. If we pray you people, means that not everybody is already reconciled. Universal reconciliation, universal salvation is from the pit of hell. And there are many nice people that are preaching here. Don't be a fool. Just know the truth. You are a sinner, Christ the Savior. Believe what Christ has done for you. Receive it by faith, by grace through faith, with no works on your part. God saves you eternally. Get it? Forever. But I'm not so good, imagine. You talk with a champion, I'm not so good. Would you think Paul was perfect? No, he wasn't. Romans 7 tells you his conflict with his own flesh. But then he said, you know what? After he cried in Romans 7, Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Because the good I want to do, I don't do it. The bad I don't want to He said, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. And then he said in Romans 8, There is therefore now no condemnation. People want to change it. No, it's, don't change it. To those who are in Christ Jesus, walk not after the flesh, the system of this world, your religion, but after the spirit. Because God did the impossible. The, impossible for you. Remember when uh, you know they talked to Jesus, who oh, can be saved then? Because he's, Jesus said, hey, we got it. We man is impossible, but we got all things are possible. All things are possible. Lord, let... <laughs> can't talk. I can't talk. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead. Be reconciled to God. Now, why? Look what God did. For he, that's God the Father, almighty God, wow, has made him, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, the Word, the Son of God, to be seen for us. Wow! Who knew no sin! You understand this? Jesus Christ was absolutely glorious, innocent. People hate him. I love him too, so much I can't tell you. Why? Because he that was perfect, glorious, no sin in him, never seen. He was born of the Spirit. Through the virgin, so I mean, you know, no man touched that, you know. He had the blood of God running through his vein. He was absolutely perfect. He fulfilled the law completely. But he was not talking to us in the red gospel, so in the red letters, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's to Israel that. But then, the gracious and wonderful as he is, he called this man a Gentile and a, and a Hebrew at the same time. The perfect example of the, the new creature. Sorotas, the persecutor, the enemy, and saved him and called him to be the apostle, preacher, teacher, the Gentiles. So you and I, we have nothing to do with this. I can be saved and sealed and be in heavenly places with him in a new glorified body. Yeah. 
For he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. The exchange is massive, it's glorious. So God said, is God good? Man, if it's good. Instead of saying, you know, all of you, you're just a bunch of corrupt, transgressors, sinners. I'm going to burn you down to the ground. <laughs> he could. Who can stop his hand? And that's it. Forever. No, he said, okay, I want to save them. I want to give them the opportunity to be saved so they can be with me in heavenly places and enjoy eternity with me. And he sent the, the son and the son came and the spirit said, okay, God is a God that there is a council of God before the foundation of the world. That's a mystery. Nobody knew that God was going to do this. The same God who created Israel to regain the earth and take it from Satan and his minions is creating the body of Christ, which was a mystery and now exists. Made of men and women, young and old, doesn't matter. Born or free, doesn't matter. Who simply believe and receive this gospel and they are ambassadors for Christ. So we have a message which is hope. A certain hope, a blessed hope. But for you is to believe it. Unless, until you believe it, nothing happens. Please understand this. That's all I want to say. 21 minutes is even too long. For he, that's God the Father, made him to be seen for us as Christ, who knew no sin. You know, Satan is so evil and his servants, they will attack this world and they will attack the, the gospel of Christ night and day. They're using pastors, preachers, um, uh, you can popes, bi bishops. Oh, let's pray the Madonna, let's stand, uh, light up a candle, you know, pray the rosary, blah, 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 blah. They use them, oh, you have to be born again, so you can come to the church, get baptized, and bring, bring the tithes and offerings to me. No, please, be free. Christ makes you free instantaneously. The moment you believe, receive this gospel. Grace and peace to all. Thank you, Lord. Amen.